All right, future designers and developers. In the last video, we looked at how to add a link to our page. Now we are going to add an image to our page. It's another attribute that we're gonna use. Uh, this one is not an H reference attribute. It is a source reference. So let's go over here again and we are going to, let's go and say, we are gonna do H2. We'll keep it at that same level of heading. And this is going to be Mr. Forberg's. I'm sure y'all are so much better at typing on an iPad than I am. Mr. Forberg's uh, favorite food. All right. So here I am going to add in an image. And how we add in images is it's pretty simple. We go about that same tag. And the thing that is a little bit trickier, though this is an attribute, it doesn't start with an A, it starts with IMG. And this is one of those examples of something that doesn't have a close to it. So let's go and actually define this. So our source is going to be equal to the name of our image. So right now I am just going to throw in here and I am just going to say image.png and I will close that up and then I am going to close my image and that's it. That's all we have to have in here. But we actually need to have an image inside of our folder before we can actually call that image. So let's go find an image. I have already gone to Safari and I have just searched pizza. So I'm gonna find a photo of uh, pizza that I would like to eat. Um, let's go, this one looks good. I am going to just download this. So I am going to add to my photos. And now when I go back to easy HTML, if I am over here, I can hit my plus sign and I am going to import and I'm going to choose a photo. Uh, so if I go to all photos, I am going to choose that photo that I last imported. Oh my gosh. And wouldn't you know it, it's already named image.png. That's the iPad kind of does that by default if it is a PNG, otherwise if it's a JPEG, it does that. But still. So if this was, let's say I go over here and I change the name of this to pizza.png, I would have to go into my code over here and say that this image is pizza.png. Cool. All right, we'll close that. And now let's go over to our browser and we're gonna refresh that. And there we go. We have got our pizza imported into our photo over there, into our website. So there is one thing that we might wanna do to change this. So let's say that this is too large of a pizza and we want to change its width and height. We can do that by adding some more information into the tag that we just created. So I'm going to say that my width is equal to and then in quotations, in quotations, uh, we are going to say, we're gonna make it small, almost like a thumbnail. Uh, we'll make it 100. We're gonna make it pretty noticeable that it resized. And then we are just going to put a space height and height is going to be equal to, uh, let's say 50. So it's a pretty small, it's probably gonna distort this a little bit. Uh, and then we can close that, go over to our browser, refresh it. Now we got the little pizza. It's a tiny pizza. All right, there we go. And that's a video on how to add images into your website. Thanks for watching.